another series of videos for my nails. Let me show you another haul. I got this kit and these are nail files and a system to help remove nail polish and, nail, and gel polish. So this one is the Wind Blows Waking in the Air River Flows. It comes with plastic -y bag. It, you can't even close it right, but I wasn't really planning on keeping the bag. It's a nice touch though. But let me show you what it has inside. It comes with a cuticle pusher, which I already have from other kits I've purchased. So cool, I have two cuticle pushers now. And I have another tool that I have no idea what it is. And I'm assuming that when you're removing poly gel, uh, this helps you scrape it off is what I am assuming you use this tool for. Please enlighten me if I am wrong. Never used this tool before. Okay. It also comes with a nail brush. That is pretty awesome. I use this even uh, without any of these kits. It just helps with brush up all the dirt. Always helps with cleaning up your nails in between the week, in between uh, new nail sets and so forth. So cool, a little purple nail brush. It also comes with nail files. Awesome, you can never have too many nail files. These are more like buffers because they are smooth, no grit whatsoever. And then it comes with a little bit more grit and then a little bit more. So I'm not sure what these numbers are. Um, and it's pretty thick. I love, you can get a good handle on it and it is bendable too. Cool. And then you have maybe like a, maybe a 100 or a 180 grit. Just regular wood file, okay? Then it comes with a little buffer. This guy I have used before and when you finish filing your nails or your polish or whatever, this will really help buff it completely smooth, smooth. I really like these little guys. Okay, so a little buffer block. Then uh, they have these forms to help split your toes. Everybody knows what these are. Love the hearts. Wish they were in pink foam, but still very nice. So you have these for your toe separators for your pedicures. Then we have some nail wipes. And these are, I'm assuming, like just little cotton nail wipes. So these little lint-free nails is if you fill this up with acetone, again, it'll help you remove like your nail polish if you're using regular nail polish. It also can help you with removing your nail polish and I'll show you a little bit with these, but let's just pretend uh, that this is alcohol. If you have another little bottle, if you wanna use like alcohol, you use these lint-free little wipes and it'll help you remove after you put your top coat, that stickiness that you feel you can help clean that up. Now, as far as if this was acetone and now you wanna remove your poly gel, you use these little guys and there are blue and purple and I believe there's 10 of each. <clears throat> and these may be for the toes and the hands. I don't really care about the toes, maybe the the big toe, but um, the hands for sure. So let's just open these up. I have seen these online many times and I was always curious to get them, but now that I am going to concentrate on doing my nails really well, I decided to get all the little tools that I can use to be able to accomplish removing my nails. I am guilty of trying to break off trying to shove something in between to scrape off the old nail, which is a big no-no. I am trying to take my time and do it the safe and healthy way for your nail. So, such a barbarian. Okay, so these are nail clips. And what you do is, so let's say this is acetone, you soak it up and then you pretty much wrap your nail, right? 
then you get one of these little clips and then um, what you do is you wait for like 20 minutes and you're like da 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 you know you're watching your favorite YouTube channel Hello Gabbyist and you then you know let time pass and then when it's done hopefully now it should be soft enough that it can just peel away hence then you use your little tools you know just safely you shouldn't be scraping it's just pretty much colliding things off from the videos that I have seen you need to be gentle as you can and that is something that I have to learn how to do and then now you start getting your files to help remove also excess product can you can do that you know you have a, I don't know if this is a you would use this to help scrape off product but there you go um, and that is what you do and then these would be for the toes I like the blue Let's see. these are pretty much the same size yeah. and you would just use it's one for your fingers and then one for your toes um, so that is how you would use these here I also purchased separate nail files. I do have my hand drill, my Susie Melody hand drill for speedy processes and, and things for my nail. But you also need some hand files as well. And the, this is, comes from the Metalons kit. I'm going to remove this for now. So I bought another kit from Amazon and I bought one with pretty much all the ones that have different uh, grits on it. Now, I'm going to put these in order so that you can see the different numbers and so forth. Okay. So there you go. My hand files range from 100 all the way up to 4,000. So with my video watching, I also wrote down what do the numbers mean? First and foremost, what I learned is that you need to prep your nail files. And what that means is that although these are awesome condition, you need to try to rub the edge a little bit because these are like paper as well and can cut you. And if you've ever been to the nail salon and you get cut, you know exactly what I mean. That has happened to me. So it says to just prep your nail file, right? Because these are hard edges and are razor sharp as well. So it said to prep your nail files and send down the edges. And that is what I'm doing right now. Okay, cool. I will make sure to do that again before I actually use them again. So now, that's what they says. Prepping your nail files, I've done that. It now tells me what the numbers mean. So I know that the smaller the number, the more coarse. The higher the number, the less coarse. So for example, this is 100. See, this feels more coarse. So this is 100, and I'm not sure if you can see, and you know nail files. Look at how gritty that is. So this one that's a thousand and four thousand, this is four thousand because it's the smoothest. It's like just foam. Like if you're just gonna rub foam <laughs> on your nail. So from a hundred to four thousand. Okay. So then the smaller the number, the more coarse. Okay. Now a two hundred and forty grit, and this is one of these here. This is a 240, so it only has one number, meaning that it's 240 on this side, 240 on this side. This helps prepare the natural nail for acrylic. This is something that when you go to the nail salon, you see them pull out their nail, they're probably pulling out a 240 to help prepare your nail. There's also a 180, which is this one. This one is, this is considered a fine grit. 
the 180 is considered a medium grid. Again, it's just one number. It's 180 on this side, 180 on this side. The 180, this medium grid, is used to shape and sculpt, soften, and not tick away too much. Then finish with fine grit. So you're going to start this, and then you're going to finish with this one. Okay? Because it's a smaller number, has more grit, you finish with the softer ones, with the larger numbers. Okay? Then there is the, the coarse. So there's fine, medium, and coarse grit. And this one says it's 100. Remember I first showed you this one? This is a 180, but this is the big. This is going to tear you up. This is 100. So this is considered a coarse grit file. This helps to shape and sculpt. And start with this one. You end up with the medium one, the 180. And then you lastly with the fine grit. So when they're trying to remove, let's say you're going to remove your uh, poly gel, your acrylic nails, they're going to try to do this to send off and take off all of the products so that the acetone can really saturate and remove your nails a little bit better or take down the product. They will use 100 or a 180 for that. This one is considered a coarse grit again. A sanding sponge, it's considered an 80. I don't have an 80 here. Um, I just have a thousand and four thousand um, and now but the sanding sponge according to my notes says that a sanding sponge is to prepare for nail polish this is not to take away or shape your nail and this changes the surface and smooths the nail right this is something that you will use you know it's like using one of these buffer blocks that's what this is for but in a longer version, very spongy. And then a smooth and shine. It's to smooth the surface of your natural nail, bring shine and great for manicures. So again, sanding sponge. So this is probably the sanding sponge, which is the thousand. And then the smooth and shine is this side because this is 4,000 and that is the level for a smooth sponge. Now, I also see that I have a 150. This is gonna be grittier than a 180 and it just depends, it's just preference. Um, but this kit came with all of these. So again, this is to remove product. This is a very coarse grit. Then you're starting to go down a level 150 medium grit 180 also a medium grit and then this is a a 220 so this is considered also a medium grit on this side and on this side and then on a 280 i'm gonna say that this is more going to a fine grit and again the 240 is also a fine grit lastly for your smooth and shine and sanding sponges a thousand to four thousand that's what these are so I learned a lot guys I don't know about you but this keeps me hyped up to do my nails now the one for Madelons like I explained to you in a previous video this is a hundred and one eighty so this falls like here it has a 100 just like this one this side and a 180 just like this side so this is the same thing these are the same thing, but this is a more, to me, would be more friendlier, more um, comfortable to use because it's, you have more to grab and it is spongier and it's very bendable. So this one in particular, I like the length, but you can't really bend it. If I try to bend it, it's just gonna break. But I do like the length again. Put it here and, and go to town. So there you go. I absolutely love my sanding files. Now with this removal nail kit, since I already have this done and like, like I explained to you in previous videos, um, I already have about seven days with this and I absolutely love it. And with that, I want to then put a new set on and I want to show you how I did that. It is very easy now that I know how to do, but still I need more practice on my left hand because I'm a righty and I need to know how to do it with my lefty. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. Please give me some pointers out there. What can I do? What should I look for? What did you not see in my kit? 
you're missing this. What am I missing? Or what is the tool that you really love using? Maybe I don't have it. Please let me know. I will get it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and have a great day.